Many would agree that the most difficult part about creating videos has to be the video editing part. Would you agree? Let me know down in the comments below if that's your frustration. However, simply before you got into making videos, you've probably never been exposed to video editing. And that's why it's so important to find a software that is good for beginners to help you grow on YouTube. That's why in this video, I'll be sharing why Camtasia is an awesome video editing software for new creators so that you can get to crushing your edits today. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Altakori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we talk about YouTube strategy tips to help grow your YouTube channel, as well as the best tips and tools like cameras, lightings, microphone, and editing software, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. This video is sponsored by Camtasia, and I'm excited to show you why we recommend this screen recorder and editor for new creators. Most people, especially those who have yet to edit their first video, need a simple video editing experience, and Camtasia is a great option. If you think you can see yourself using Camtasia while watching this video, be sure to check out the link down in the description below to try Camtasia free so that you can get to crushing your videos. The first reason why Camtasia is great for beginners is because it's an all-in-one screen recorder, webcam, and video editor, making it easy to create tutorials. Oftentimes on Think Media, we will do tutorials that require us to capture the screen while we're filming ourselves. However, editing that video could be a little bit more complex, especially if you're just starting out. But what's so cool about Camtasia is you can literally do a screen recording and then you can actually connect not only your desktop, you can also connect your webcam. So I'm gonna turn this on and select my webcam right here, super crispy. Then you can also connect a mic. So if you know you're using a special mic, I have a Samsung QTU, check, check, check. And then system audio. So that's if you know, you're know you playing a video on your computer, it's capturing that as well. That's huge. I think it's so awesome that it allows you to do that. And so that when you edit it later, it's all gonna be lined up. This feature makes it super easy to create content. So once you start screen capturing, once you set that all up, it's super nice because you can just simply conduct whatever tutorial you're trying to do. And then it'll just load up the project with all the files that you need. But this is just a super simple way to conduct, you know, screen capture tutorials. And honestly, whatever industry you may find yourself in needing to do something like this and show how to use a software or what have you, Camtasia literally makes it so easy with a push of a button, making it super nice. The next is the zoom pan visual effects. Now that you've captured your screen, you can really make it look great by easily zooming around your screen to emphasize something or make something more clear. And I've never seen this being done more easier than how Camtasia does it. Simply go to edit and then under zoom and pan, you can see the project right here. What's so cool is that Camtasia will keyframe all this for you. So let's say for instance, when I start typing, just press record, I wanna zoom in. So I'm gonna go to that moment in the video using this cursor right here. And then I'm going to now zoom into the video and move, move the, the box around. And then once I move my cursor right to just press, I can then zoom back out to scale the fit or actual size or find that like perfect spot that I had right before, which was like right about that. And then it'll, as you can see on the bottom, it actually keyframes for you. So if we play this back, if I exit out and I play this back, how you can make like a YouTube intro. So I'm gonna put just press. Can you guys guess the next word? You're right, record, let's go which is super cool and easy to do. The next cool feature about Camtasia is the cursor effects. What's so cool about the cursor effects, which could be found right here on the left column, it automatically identifies the mouse uh, or the cursor on your screen record. If you're demonstrating something on screen, Camtasia can automatically identify the cursor and you can add an effect to the cursor, which is super cool. So if you come over here on the left side and select cursor effects, uh, we can select high, something like spotlight or, or magnify or even cursor smoothing, which is cool. It makes it a lot smoother when it's moving. You could change the color. So if you want it like red or whatever color you want, you can. And you, and you can adjust the size of the highlighted cursor, the softness, uh, whether you want it to be kind of like faded out or what have you. It's just really cool and easy and it just identifies it you know, throughout your entire screen record, which is super easy to use and also super clutch. 
The next is annotations. Usually the first thing creators wanna do when they're editing videos is add text to their video and it's super easy with Camtasia. Simply go to annotations on the left side of the program and you can see how you're met with all these uh, different styles and they have a ton to choose from as you can see here, but for simplistic sake, I'm actually gonna just select the one with just a square, drag it on screen where I want it to, and you can also move it right here in the timeline. Uh, but editing it is super simple, and so I'm gonna change the color to black because we like putting black and white text, and uh, we're just gonna change that text to say, add your tagline. We're gonna change that to white, change that to Helvetica new. And do a little Think Media vibe. Maybe I'll just swap around the colors just cause the type of uh, background it's on. So I'm gonna go here, select the text, change it to black actually. Can maybe shrink this a bit, grow this a bit. And there you have it. So if you're doing like tips and stuff, you can definitely add um, the text super easy by using annotation. And they have so many different uh, themes. So if you, you, know, you wanted to switch it up, you can just change it to a thought bubble if you wanted to, or maybe a speech bubble, which I think is super nice and easy to use. Audio effects. Camtasia makes it super easy to make your audio sound good as well as add audio transitions as needed. Simply go into the audio panel on the left and you can see that they have emphasize, fade in and fade out, which are pretty much the main ones that I would typically use. And they have other ones like captions and clip speed, but all you have to do is simply drag and drop your audio effect over your video file because that's where your audio lives. And, and then you can kind of see it right here on the left uh, under emphasize and it's just nice to be able to adjust certain things as you need. The thing about audio is you definitely wanna dial in your audio prior to shooting your video or prior to doing your screen capture. Um, and so once you have dialed in your audio, you can definitely add so much more to it because it's already good, but you can make it great by adding these effects. And I love how simple they make it by simply dragging onto your actual video clip. Creating favorites. As you grow as a content creator and video editor, it's really important that you increase in efficiency. And one of the best ways to do that is to simply make things you do often more easily accessible. Whether it's an effect or a transition or an audio effect or anything you use often, you simply star it and it all puts it into a favorites tab. And so you don't have to go looking for the things you look for often. And so that will really cut down your editing time and make you produce more content in less time. The next reason is their library. Camtasia has a library of assets that you can use to really make your videos look super professional very simply. What's so cool about their library is that you can access things like slides, YouTube subscribe buttons, and other things like that. Another thing you can actually access is royalty-free music. This is huge because oftentimes creators get copyright strikes on their videos because they're using music that is licensed, meaning you don't have access to be able to use that. And it would suck to either demonetize your channel or get a video taken down or potentially get your channel shut down because you didn't have royalty-free music. And so Camtasia makes it super simple with their library. And essentially it's called the TechSmith assets for Camtasia, that's what it's called, but you can get it fully integrated into your software. And so their library feature is so good for beginners because you don't have to go out and get third party downloads and then open up third party software and then export it and make sure that there's a transparent background and things like that. That's a lot that a lot of people have to go through when they're trying to get just a subscribe button. Question for you is what do you think about Camtasia and the features they have and also how simple they are to use and add to your videos? I'd love to know down in in the comments below. And uh, all in all, that's really why we think Camtasia is great for beginners. You know, you really need to make the video editing process of content creation as simple as possible. And I think Camtasia does a great job at that. When editing becomes more of an easier task, the chances are is you're more likely to create more content, which is the goal. We need to get consistent on YouTube. You need to post, you know, maybe once a week, maybe twice a month, but being consistent has a lot to do with how easy you can get through all the editing that you need to get through. But if 
if you wanna try it free for yourself, make sure to check out the link down in the description below. And when you're ready to pull the trigger and download Camtasia for good, make sure you use a special discount. Again, all that information is down in the description below. And if you wanna see more tutorials on Camtasia, go ahead and click or tap the screen. And I can't wait to see you in a future one. Peace.